Hey, Kaf Kuba fans, I have this uh, Mr. Coffee Coffee Pot. Um, the issue is um, it works, but I have a really sticky button, and I tried to squirt cleaner around the button, and it still sticks. There's no obvious way to take off this control panel. Um, I've got a cup ready to brew here, or five cups, and I'm going to turn it on and you can see it's really hard to push and then when I push it in it stays in and then when I go to turn it off it's the same deal so I'm gonna make this coffee and then we're gonna see how to if we can get in this baby and uh, see what's going on with that switch So again, we have this Mr. Coffee coffee maker. Um, this button is sticking the on off button. Um, you can hear it, it's crunchy. Um, I remove the pot and the coffee basket. And I was looking around for some ways to act access the control panel um, the only screws I see are in the base there's one two three four five six seven I don't know there's one two three four five six seven seven screws in the base the power cord goes to the base and of course the heater element for keeping the uh, pot of coffee hot after it's brewed um, is in the base and any power any power for the control panel is fed by the same uh, source that feeds the the element so the wires go into the element I'm sure that's a um, takes more power, of course, than the the uh, the brewing process does. <clears throat> I'm sure the control panel is some smaller load, but any wires that any wires that come into the base must be running up the sides of this coffee maker and into this control panel um, because you know there's not a there's not a different power supply for the control panel. So the bottom line is. I can remove this I can remove this heating element panel and I just don't have any confidence that that's how I access the control panel. So I was poking around looking for screws and um you know I, I see I see here what looks like some kind of posts and there's a I was curious about these posts because I don't know if you can see it clearly, but um, it almost looks like these pop out. So I don't know if these are just pads for the lid so it doesn't slam or if I could actually pry these off. And if I, if I get under there, I don't know what's going to happen here. I wish I could take this lid off. Here, let me... Let me do this so the lid is not falling on my hand. And um, I don't know if you can see that well enough, but is there anything happening here? I wish I had the right tool for this or it's just stuck in there hmm see the whole point of my videos you know is, is to kind of tell my audience that you know I can run out and get a new coffee pot for however much it cost um geez 
Oh wait, that wants to go. Something's happening. Is that just a pad? Come on. It's so hard to work the camera at the same time. Ow, it just cut my finger. Come on, it's wiggling. Maybe I shouldn't use a sharp knife for this. But it's the only thing. Oh! Look at that. A bloody thumb, but a screw is underneath that access. So, did I lose the cap? There it is. This was... This is a little plastic cap to hide the screws so they don't get all filled with coffee. There's some a, a bloody thumb from using a knife. So, um, the point of my videos is to kind of show everybody that instead of throwing everything out when it acts up or doesn't work properly, you know what? Take some time, um, sit down and, and try to, uh, try to, uh, fix your stuff because you know what? Yeah, I could buy a new coffee maker. I could, um, throw this one out. Um, you know, I got better things to do with my time than repair this, but the point is, is it's, it's a curiosity. It's, 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 you know, recycling and reuse. Um, you know, it's not about the money. Uh, it's just more about the waste and the curiosity. So what I'm going to do next is, um, and, you know, and, and I can go online and research this, or I can try to find the parts list or whatever, and, or I could just poke around and kind of learn as I go, which is what I just did here. So there's one, two, three, four, five other caps that I want to remove. And I'll do that without the camera running so I don't cut my thumb off. Uh, and then we'll see if I can get, does this lift out? And then I can access this control panel from this side. So let's just take a look and let me get those screws out and uh, take these caps off and, and I'll come back in a second. It wasn't easy prying those out. I couldn't use a screwdriver because it was too thick. I had to use this steak knife that was stiff enough but sharp enough. So I got these six plugs out. And as you can see, I have six screws now. Some of them are recessed. So let me see if I can unscrew these, th these six screws, and see where that gets us. If uh, not, I ruined a coffee pot. Yeah, so one of my biggest problems making videos is working the camera, working tools, not losing screws, making sure the viewer can see what I'm doing. I mean, I think it's intuitively obvious that if I show you the screws and where they're located, that, you know, I could pause and, and let you guys kind of envision what I did it's not that big of a deal removing six screws but you know sometimes when you you miss capturing something like a like a complete disaster and you know that's what makes a video so these two recessed screws that I can barely get to because they're down low I have to like assume that they're loose and then shake this pot upside down and see if they come out so four of the screws were easy to get to you could view them the other two i'm loosening i think and i think they're loose and i'm gonna just flip it over and see if they come out there's one that's five there's six so I got the screws out, removed the six plugs, removed the six plugs, removed the six screws. Um, let's see if, uh, let's see what we just did. What comes off here now that I've done that? Oh! Voila! This is the, the, uh, oh boy. 
There's a hose there. I don't know if that fell off or something or that just hangs there. Let me uh let me take the camera out of here. This lifted out. There's this hose here that looks like looks like it's the oh. Hmm. Let's get some light here. Hold on a second. So that hose wraps around there. Oh, and there's another one there. Let me see. I'm not entirely sure what that does. That's the feed for the drip, which comes out of... You, you pour the water in the back of this. Well, that looks moldy and disgusting. You pour the water in the back of this, how many cups you need. Um, the bottom heats up. It comes up through there, drips into the co uh, coffee basket, brews your coffee. Those... I don't think that hose actually connects this. Is that just a gasket? Seems strange that they would use a piece of tubing that doesn't connect anywhere. Um, there's no, there's nothing here that it connects to. And here's, like I told you, here's the power from down below. Ribbon cable comes up to the back of this control panel, which I now have access to. <clears throat> and voila, there's the screws. There's the screws, four screws, to remove this control panel. And it's hard to focus in there. Especially with the light on, but that's the control panel. That's the ribbon cable. That comes from down below. So let me take those four screws out and access this panel and see what we have. So those are the four screws that I just took out. For the control panel, this took out the basket. There's the basket, and now here's the control panel. Now what I'm afraid of is there's not a lot of, well, that ribbon cable has some room. Um, does this slide up? Does the front just come off? Oh, look, I think it's just gonna come out through the front. Oh boy. Oh boy, so that came out, and now there's four more screws that probably connect the faceplate to this circuit board and the controls. So, looks like I have four more screws to re uh, remove if I'm going to get this plate off, so let me pause again. Yeah, let me capture this on film, because it's... You never know what fun we might encounter. Yep, so here we are. I'm wasting my Saturday. Um, you know, I almost didn't make a video because I'm like, you know, I don't think I have a very big audience. I got a couple videos with 30,000 views, and I had a couple very interesting videos years ago that had like 300,000 until YouTube changed its algorithm. And now I'm just doing this stuff and hoping that like I'll, I'll capture lightning in a bottle, but really I just kind of enjoy it. And, you know... Sometimes I make a video and I feel like I'm annoying the entire world and that's why I only get three views and I can just go on Instagram or, or you know, and, and watch women flick their tongues that are like eight inches long or, or I can watch them with, you know, show off their legs or stockings and be all sexy even though no woman really cares about being sexy in real life. But, you know, but instead I make these videos and things fall apart and I capture them on my camera and, you know... I amuse myself. So I just took this off, those four screws, and there's this protective sheet that probably keeps the steam off the electronics. And, oop! I don't want buttons to fall over the place, so I'm going to be very careful. This is the circuit board, and now I'm lifting out the circuit board and the protective steam sheet. I guess that's what that is. And there's our buttons. So let me see if I can flip this around real quick. Let me set down this button panel and uh, this is a Mr. Coffee control panel for a coffee maker 
and I'm not doing a circuit analysis here, but um, there's a display, there's the intelligence and all kinds of, you know, the, everything functions, so I'm not going to bugger with this, but here's the buttons. And real quick, these are all the switches, and they're all, they're all nice. They all feel real operable, clean, no problems. So, we've accessed the control panel. We've got things apart. I'm going to slide this over here, and let's take a look at the culprit. So, what do we have here? These are all the buttons that will fall out of place if I... Oh, and there's the stuck one. Look at that. See how these all sort of wiggle in place? Nice and clean. Well, these two are all buggered. They don't even move. Um, and I don't want to flip it over and lose all the pieces. Actually, it's not that bad. Let me, let me just go ahead and take these out. Because they just... Well, have to, let me put... See, they're all shaped a certain way due to the curvature of the panel. So I'm just going to take them out. Oh, there's some over here too. What do those do? I don't even know what those... I have to see the front to know what they do. But they all sit on posts. That one's a little gummy. So I'm going to take them out and put them in order here on the table. From... That's the top of the panel. So I'm going to flip it so that the top is down. And I'm just going to, in order, take these out. And put them on the table. So I know which direction they go into. It's not rocket science. And this one. Oh, look at that. Feel that? Oh, look how gummed up that is. And I tried to clean it. I'm surprised I couldn't spray in there and just clean that. Because that's 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 pretty accessible. I squirted it all around that. And, and since, since the control panel is not sticky and the switches aren't broken on the control panel... I'm surprised just squirting around here didn't clean that. But let me let me take these all out. Oh, that was that's that was nasty. Look at that. So I got all the buttons out. I'm going to let me let me turn the camera off and I'm just gonna get a <laughs> get a paper towel and just and some I don't know vinegar or maybe I could use this. I don't really want to use contact cleaner for this because these are all plastic parts. So I'm just gonna get some paper towel, some vinegar. And I'm just going to wipe these all up and show you that they're free moving. And uh, I'll be right back. So, another white vinegar rescue mission. If you see some of my other videos, it's pretty good at doing a lot of things. Um, what I did was I took this all apart. Cleaned it with white vinegar, washed it with water, and then dried it all nice and good. And um, just be careful because with any with any product, um, there's little pieces, gaskets, chrome fittings. It's just if they fall out, you just remember where they came from and just put them all right in the back. I didn't walk you through every single thing, but let's put these let's put these buttons back in, and they're all they're all free to move now. See that? They're not all gummed up and sticky. You hear that? That's the sound of... That's the sound of... That's the sound of freedom. And there's these pieces as well. I think they kind of went like that. Just let the... Let the let the device tell you how to put it back together because... Never force anything. Everything should just sort of fall into place again. If you forget where something goes, just think on it. And um, look how nice and wiggly everything is now. Double check, make sure you didn't forget any little pieces. Man, a lot of crumbs on the table. So this goes, I flip, uh, let me, uh, remember this is our little control panel. I got to flip this around and drop it back in place without moving the buttons everywhere without forcing it getting all the you'll see there you'll see there's little LEDs on this control board oh let me get the camera fixed there's all kinds of LEDs they all have to 
fall back into the the, the buttonhole so it illuminates properly from the front. And we're just going to kind of guide everything up here and it'll sink right into position when you know you got it. The buttons are okay, buttons are okay, everything's in that spot. Why is this kind of not going in? Buttons are still in place, buttons are still in place. Let's see. Oh, I see. This display, this display, uh, what did I do here? That should be okay. Um, do I have the display on? No, that should be okay. What is going on here? Why isn't that sinking into place through the display unit? I can't get this display unit to fall right into that window. Something not right. Something not right. Maybe it doesn't go all the way in. Uh, something's not sink something's not settling in place here. LEDs are in. What is not right? This window unit should. Why isn't that? I guess that's kind of recessed, no? What is going on there? You see the the display is not sinking into this. And it's not backwards. What did I lose sight of here? Maybe it doesn't actually sink inside there. Something's Oh, wait. What is going on there? Does that slide around there? We have our first difficulty here in that that display unit is not Does that snap on? What am I doing? Let me fumble fuck with this. So I had this backwards this little chrome piece, I don't want to flip it over, but there's a chrome piece here. That should have gone in before the window. I had the chrome behind the window, so now that, now that, um, see, that's why you always are learning. Now this, um, window rests into the mounting holes, and this little gap, I can't, there was a little piece of chrome that was, should have been on the outside of the window, and not the inside. So now you can see it's sitting right nice in there. And let me put those. I got this shield back in place. And now I'm going to go put the four screws back in the control panel. Put the control panel back in the coffee pot. And I'll show you how the buttons execute. So just for full disclosure, as they say in the business, in the staff engineer business. Um... I had to tuck this plastic shield around the circuit board and between the um, molded housing, if you will, for the circuit board. And now you have this protective steam sheet. Um, and I socked down the screws, making sure that nothing else came out of place. And... <clears throat> Um, now listen to the buttons work now. This was the stuck one. Before I had a push with all my might and it didn't return. All the buttons are operational. I can sync this back into the unit. Put the screws back in place that I took out earlier. The uh, four screws. So let me, and then drop the basket back in, and um, let me get everything secured, and uh, I think that might be the last installment, because I have no doubt when I plug this all back in and put it back together that it'll function. Um, if I come across any surprises, I'll let you know, but I'm just going to reassemble this in the reverse order that I took it apart, and I really hope that this will help you troubleshoot and repair uh, your old electrical devices so that you don't um, end up throwing things out and putting them in the bottom of the Indian Ocean for no reason. Um, and again, when you have an old house and you can't run to the store and you have an emergency and you have company over and, 
and uh, you know uh, Macy's is closed or Walmart is closed uh, or your car is broken or the battery doesn't op work and you're you're stuck in a snowstorm you know this might this video might help you um, you know make a cup of coffee in a pinch so uh, thank you for watching and take care put some water in there Let's see if it works Make sure I put it back together properly. I'll fix the time later. Looks like she's brewing. Thanks for uh, tuning into Kafkuba.